The new Porsche 911 is revealed. Well, almost. A Gumbert Apollo sh** bed at the Nürburgring with a familiar face behind the wheel. And what do dinosaurs and a new SSC supercar have in common? And why is that Alfa Romeo testing in Death Valley? Plus, we have your Dumbass Tuesday. What's up, everybody? I'm Derek D. That's JF. That's Ian. That's AK. And that is Miles. You are watching Fastlane Daily. Hello. Let me welcome you to the new 2012 Porsche 911. Well, it's not official yet. These are still just spy photos, but as we get closer to the car's debut at the Frankfurt Auto Show in October, new details are emerging. We've known the car as codename 991 for the past two years, but with the current generation 997 about to be phased out, here's what we know. The car will have a slightly extended wheelbase, a wider stance, while actually being a little shorter. Porsche has gone through great lengths to make the car lighter and increase the power to weight ratio. Now there's new official video of the car testing in South Africa, we can't show the video here for YouTube copyright reasons, which sucks, but if you click right here, here, right here, you'll jump over to the Porsche YouTube page, but don't do it yet. Watch the show first, then go back and click right there. Thanks to Jamie Lippman for these photos from South Africa, and here's a side note. That teaser video of the car's testing, well, our own Tom Morningstar and JF Musial produced that. Self-promotion for the win. Yeah. yeah you What's your website? <laughs> okay. Dot com? <laughs> and this morning, a Gumpert Apollo ate it big time at the Nürburgring after exiting pit lane. Sucks, but not that outrageous though, right? Well, guess who was driving? Our buddy Chris Harris was at the ring and grabbed this photo. Yeah, recognize that helmet? That's current Force India Formula One driver Adrian Sutil. In other news, Apollo, the Greek god this car is named after, is pissed you just crashed his car. Hey. Good luck with that Formula One race there this weekend, Adrian. Just don't crash. But don't crash. <laughs> and moving on to a supercar maker we all love to hate. Shelby Supercars, better known as SSC. We've known the company best for building the Ultimate Aero, which claimed the world's fastest production car record over the Bugatti Veyron a few years back. Well, now there's a new one which we first saw at Pebble Beach late last year. Dubbed then the Ultimate Aero 2, there's finally a new name for the car. It's called the Tutara, an inspired name from a New Zealand-based reptile that is a direct descendant of dinosaurs. Why name a modern car after dinosaurs? Well, I'll tell you, because dinosaurs provide us fossil fuels, which provide us oil, which provides us gasoline, which makes cars go boom. Explanations like a boss. Right, Rick? Boss. Thank you. Actually, that was just my badly educated guess. We have no idea why they named it that. But we can tell you that the Tutara will hit 60 in a claimed 2.8 seconds. It'll move itself all the way up to 275 miles per hour. At that speed, it will be once again the fastest car in the world, nudging out the current holder, the Veyron Supersport. Yeah, sticking it to the French, what Americans do best. I do like the fries though. Oh, oh. Fries are good, but aren't they their, freedom fries their, now? Their toast is pretty good too. Toast oh, yeah. is French good. French toast is very good. Yeah, French toast. I do toast. like that tower that they built. What? what the pizza, the meaning tower. <laughs> <pizza>. <laughs> they keep the frogs. Though. The Eiffel. The uh, Eiffel Tower. <laughs> oh, jeez. You said Leaning Tower Pizza? Yeah, it's that too. Yeah. No. And in today's internet rumor mill, we've got spy shots from Death Valley of what could be the next entry-level Dodge to go up against the Ford Fiesta and Chevy Cruze. From what we can tell. The new Dodge is actually an Alfa Romeo Giulietta. Alfa Romeo has announced their full return to the U.S. market won't come until 2013. Ian. That's what she said. Oh, that is what she yeah. said. But that's not stopping their new stepsister, or stepbrother, Dodge, from taking the reins and exploring the small car market in the U.S. Truth be told, by the time Alfa Romeo returns to the U.S., there will be a new Giulietta. This current generation in testing may just be a short-term fix for Dodge till they roll out their new portfolio in two years' time. I'm just saying, that's what we think is going to happen. And speaking of time, it's now time for stupid people to shine. It's Dumbass Tuesdays, presented by VOD Cars. I've actually seen this before, but it's pretty funny, and it was posted by Vic Sean Voyne on the FastLaneDaily.com forum. I tell you, there's nothing like stopping on your bike ride, and you film your friend pumping up his bike tire, when you notice a two-door spec pulling a huge trailer up a hill while the tires are smoking like hell. You're thinking, oh man, this cannot end well. 
but then you're like, oh, wow, you actually made it. So you clean off your lens, go back to filming, then all of a sudden this happens. Yeah. To the dude driving the car, you thought you could, but you obviously couldn't. You're a dumbass. A two-door spec, why would you ever hook that up to that trailer and think you could drive that up a hill oh, that God. steep? He probably installed the proper, like, tow hitch, but didn't really read it. Well, he's a moron. B-spec kicked in, yo. Yeah, <laughs> B-tech kicked in. Well, that'll do it for Fast Lane Daily today. You said V-spec. He says V-spec, no. I V-tech. Well, anyway, that'll do it for Fast Lane Daily today. I'm Derek D. And good news, everyone. Rebecca Black has a new single out. Oh, no. Yeah, and by good news, I mean, I'm going to go kill myself. I'll meet you there. The new Porsche 911 is revealed. Well, almost. Gumper Apollo sh the bed at the Nürburgring with a familiar face. <laughs> what do dinosaurs in a new SSC Derek, Super what are you doing? Reading the script? Why? I sorry, I I pasted the script twice. I know. Sorry. I just kept going. Okay. Alright, well we got another intro. You're like fun. a boss. <laughs> like a boss, right? <laughs> right, Rick? Boss. I